I don't think Magic Johnson's coming in. You think he's standing? He in might. He might have like. Uh, no, no, it might no, be a goof. No, no, because I mean, I've spoken to the publicist yeah. a bunch of times leading up to this, and I just think he's running late. Yeah, but how like, late is he gonna run? I want to go. I want to go home. So a lot of people don't understand our schedule. Do you know what I mean? Like it's like we weren't think, late for his show, and we had to come from New York. They don't understand. Like like now we do the news, and then we go home. Well, you know, and we have Gilbert here for the news, so now Gilbert's got to probably be rescheduled. We'll no, uh, you know, bring Gilbert in. And, I don't know let's he, do the news, and, and if Magic comes in, the the we'll sit here with Gilbert. Oh, that'll be comfortable. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> you're right. That's what we should do. We should bring Gilbert in to do the news, and if Magic gets here, he gets here. Yeah. Well, I hear. Right, no, don't bring Gilbert in now. All right, bring him in. <laughs> hey, Gilbert. Is he tan? No. You tan? Come on, no. that can't be true. I'm, hey, Gilbert. I'm Magic hey, Gilbert. Johnson. Oh, oh, there's Magic Johnson. Yeah. Oh. I'm Magic Johnson. How are you, sir? You're yeah. the most successful black businessman. Yeah, yeah I'm the best successful black businessman. man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won the most successful black businessman in the world. Right. And, uh, I, I'm ready to conquer the television again. You're going to do another talk show? Yeah, because I feel that my, my talent, my strength is in talking. Now, why didn't the last show work? Well, I, I think the Jews. The Jews? Yeah, the what Jews. do the Jews have to do well, with your show well, now? Well, well, the Jews be running the network. And you think they were uh, teamed up against you? Yeah, they be teamed up against the colored man. Well, every time a brother, try, every time a brother tries to get ahead... The, you, you feel the Jews knock them down? The Jews be knocking them down every corner. But if they, they run all the television shows, where are you going to put your show? Well, well I, 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 I was going to put myself on uh, one of them non-Jew networks. <laughs> we have, what, what, a BET? Yeah, BET. Because <laughs> cause that's where the quality network be, no, be, be, be happening. And would you invite Gilbert Godfrey on your show? Well, well I, I can't invite him on because he's no good Jew. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I Oh, 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 or the people I'm not having on, Gilbert Godfrey, the uh, Alan King. Right. Uh, or the other Jews. Yeah, Tova Felcher, I ain't having on. Uh, <laughs> Would you have Dracula on uh, that show? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know, Hungarian, uh, that's the same thing as being a Jew. <laughs> yeah. All right, so obviously, obviously, you're very bitter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I is. How are you, Gilbert? Oh. Hey, I heard a rumor about you. Uh-oh. Tell me if it's true or false. Yes. Did you get married? Not that I know. Oh, all right. Yeah, yes. Where did you hear that? Well, I met his girlfriend. Right. Yeah. And she said she was getting married. No. Oh. But then someone called me and said, Gilbert's getting married. Who called? To the girlfriend. Who called you? He's got a girlfriend. I know that. And she's yeah. cute. Well. Wait, what well, is it? I was in L.A. And, you know, it was, it was a bunch of record company parties going on. And I, I spent a good hour talking to Gilbert's girlfriend. And she didn't really get into too much yeah. about Gilbert. She's so cute. Mm. And she's so nice. And she, you know, the, the the one thing she wanted me to know is how nice and normal Gilbert is, and just what a good guy he is. No. Nah. But it's weird to hear that. It's weird to hear that from a kid. I don't woman. buy it. <laughs> well, yeah, because she's in love with Gilbert. She see, she thinks that now. Right. If she would ever marry Gilbert, no, no, she, she would know how not normal <laughs> they, she is. They've been together a while. <laughs> yeah, I know. He keeps it down low. But I'm saying, like, she she's thought that for a long time. She's like real normal too, because like I was out. I, I went, really. Well, what happened was I went to uh, see Penn and Teller. Yeah. And you, you see Gilbert in the strangest places. So I was walking in, and this girl comes up to me, attractive girl, and says to me, "Hi, I'm you know Gilbert girl, G Gilbert Godfrey's girlfriend." I go, "Right." <laughs> you think she's goofing? I go, "Get out of here!" And then when I went in, I saw Gilbert sitting with her. So he's got a girlfriend. And you're still not sure he didn't hire an actress. Yeah. <laughs> and he pays her to go out no? with him. Right. It's like, it's like Rock Hudson when he used to just hire girls. To go right. Out. Right. Yeah. He was a flamer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. And she was like real normal. Like, like, like you know how like weird guys always get like a, a wife who kind of like can keep them looking normal? Because you go, hey, he's not that bizarre if he's got such a nice girlfriend. Right. It's like the Kelsey Grammer thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I would have sooner seen Jim Neighbors with a girlfriend before Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Howard, the latest report is magic is uh, turning the corner. Oh, please. I'm serious. Turning the corner, what does that mean? Yeah, the other I, I, I'm turning the corner right now. <laughs> <laughs> you can sit here with the magic. Yeah. 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 I, I was turn, like turning it. the corner, but the Jews switched the corner on me. If I was you, I wouldn't talk like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll be to totally be politically here. correct when he shows up. Yeah, right. You'll be like, oh, hello, Mr. Johnson. Yeah, so Both magics should be here at the same time. We can see if we can tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Would he recognize you, Gilbert? 
Magic Johnson, would he know who you are? I was never on his show. I don't know. Yeah, you could have saved the show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> same, oh, way you, same way you saved uh, the Alan Thicke show. Yes. Right. Think of the night. If they had hired Gilbert to be the sidekick. The sidekick. Uh, hello there, Magic. <laughs> oh, that would have been you could be Dracula Godfrey. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> who is our next guest <laughs> on the show? <laughs> Mr. Blackman. Oh, no. <laughs> so, meanwhile, I did uh, a Hollywood Squares recently where they dressed... It was a Halloween show, so they dressed me up as Dracula. Oh, did they? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so it's it seemed... But it's ever since I did this show right, that people Dracula. appreciate my Dracula imitation. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They didn't get it on Hollywood Squares, did they? Yeah. No, no, no. I did. I think I did about one line as Dracula, and then they were staring. <laughs> 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 Taking that rabbi character, though. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> the Jewy Jewman. Oh, did you go to a... <laughs> did, you go, did you go to Temple for the High Holiday? Oh, of course. Did yeah. you really go to no, Temple? No, no, I didn't. No, you don't go for the... Yeah. Uh, you don't even go for Yom Kippur, where the Jews are evaluated by God? Yes. <laughs> about whether they will live or die? Yeah, where God Gilbert? sits with the clipboard. And yes. Goes, okay, let's see what the Jews did this year. What is this prayer that the Jews will say on that holy ah, day. I know it word by word. Hmm. <laughs> will you sing that for Magic Johnson? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll sing it when he comes in. Is your uh, girl a, a Jewess? <laughs> Jewess. <laughs> Is she? She seems like a Jewess. Yeah, she's... Yeah. <laughs> push, pushy and obnoxious? Yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Yeah. Gilbert Gottfried, I'm sure, has a slew of plugs. Oh, yes. I'll find them during the commercial break I'm and come so back busy. to read them. But, Gilbert, you're not even close to getting married. You've been with this girl a long time. Yeah. What's going on? Oh, oh no, I play the field. <laughs> would you be married in the I temple? Guess. Oh, yes. Now, what they... would be the special prayer? Oh, I think it would go like this. Darkness, <laughs> And then you'll be, uh... saying any real words. <laughs> Magic Johnson is very late. What is it, Matsy? Howard, Magic's out in uh, New York somewhere in a whorehouse. You know he can't get laid out in L.A. with that HIV. Oh, come on. That's outrageous <laughs> slander. How dare you? F. Jackie. How right. you doing today, Howard? All right, man. I want See, to say hi to my boy Double A. All right, there you go. Hey, uh, Gilbert Godfrey will be performing tomorrow night at Caroline's on Broadway. Oh. oh. I'll hold it. Magic's on the phone. Magic, why are you late? Now, look at here, that you think I appreciate you making fun of me one more time. I'm going to come down there and fuck your ass. All right, easy. There you go. Uh, Caroline's on Broadway. That's a big uh, gig yes, for you. Yes, yes, it's Caroline. big. It's, it, I finally broke in. For reservations, call 212-757-4100 or go to carolines.com. Gilbert's so funny, you should go see him. And I'm, I'm sure there are at least two or three tickets left. Why am I hosting the sexiest bachelor? You what? Yeah, were you involved with the sexiest bachelor? Did you watch that on TV? Uh, no, you don't have a TV. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be uh, right back, hopefully with uh, Magic Johnson or Gilbert. I, I just Gilbert. showed up. Gilbert oh, there he is. Yeah. Hey, hey, how you doing? Well, yeah, I was all okay, uh, cause I was ready for my return to the to the to the television. Set. All right, I can't wait to see how you change when he's in. Oh there. yes, <laughs> yeah, how you behave. <laughs> all right, we'll be back right after this. This is the Howard Stern Show. Stern Show. All right, now we're on target. Uh, and now oh. the man of the hour. A little bit of the ma I haven't seen Magic Johnson since I did his TV show. Oh, I am late, Mr. Howard. No, no, no. That's, that's Magic Godfrey. Go it easy. <laughs> easy. Magic has the biggest entourage I'd ever seen. For a businessman. I mean, I've seen rock stars and yeah. rappers with them. There's Magic. There watch your is. head, Magic. Magic, watch your head. Magic's in the house. It's very... How you doing, Magic? Uh, <laughs> Gilbert, go. Hey, Magic. Sit good on, you. Gilbert. Sit on, Gilbert. <laughs> Gilbert is your seat. Yes. <laughs> Gilbert, you better keep your mouth shut during Magic's interview, because he will kick your ass. 
You could kick his ass. Easily. Wait, that wouldn't take a minute. <laughs> Magic, you look bigger than ever. I mean, you look more muscular and... Uh, Hey, thank you. I've been working out. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're Gilbert. Yeah. You're Magic Godfrey. What's happening, man? How are you? Everything now, now listen. Good. What happened to you? We waited and no, waited and no, waited. I was up ready. It wasn't It wasn't my fault. What happened? I'm never late for interviews. Is that true? That's right. But you are late for this one. You admit it that. Was, it, hey, it wasn't my fault, though. You have limo. an entourage. Oh, the limo. What yeah. happened with the limo? That's my it, entourage. It was not here. Because Gilbert got here on his own. So it wasn't my fault. But, I was ready. But you have people. You have the biggest entourage. There's a huge group of people. They couldn't. Who are these people that travel with you? This, the, you no, even when you went to the no. bathroom, there's a guy guarding the door. No, don't even try that. Oh, come on. It's don't true. Robin saw it. Don't, no, don't put it on try. me. I didn't say a thing. <laughs> Robin don't came in and reported it. to me. Let me tell you what happened. I, I brought a lot of my staff is here from Los Angeles, and then Darren Prince, who brought me here. Who is this staff? I mean, I read in the paper today, they're saying you are the greatest African-American businessman that has ever lived. Wow. I ever lived. Wow, right. ever lived. Wow. Not you, Gilbert. <laughs> Please. Gilbert well, ready to I, I don't think that ever live. Uh, I think that uh, I'm just trying to, you know, build quality retailers and bring them to our community, build jobs, as, build companies to provide jobs for, you know, African Americans. I thought you were minorities. very brave opening up movie theaters in uh, black neighborhoods. No, it's not bit about being brave. Oh, yes, it is. No, I grew up in a no, black neighborhood, no, and I'm going to no, tell you something. No, 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 from no. shooting the screen. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, say that. In my neighborhood, no, seriously, I'm going to be honest. Okay. In my neighborhood, Roosevelt, which is a, a, a problem area in that there's a, a lot of economic depression. In Roosevelt, 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 Long Island. Is Long, Long Island. Island. And uh, we had a little movie theater there, and all the kids used to take the BB guns and <laughs> shoot the screens up. And the screens, as you know, are very expensive. Mm -hmm. That's not mm -hmm. a cheap thing, a screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, every movie, the movie theater would close down. They'd get a new screen in the movie theater, and then the kids would shoot it up again with the BB gun. Mm -hmm. And then uh, sometimes it was real bullets were flying. They finally closed, right? Probably didn't have any uh, great customer service. No, well, like I would that. go watch Shaft, and I'd say, wait, oh, the bullets are flying. I realized it was in the theater. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was unbelievable. So, I thought it was 3D. That's right. I thought it was 3D. So I'm saying... I'm none of the actors is falling down when I shoot him. Now, what kind of thing is that? <laughs> oh, come on. No, 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 will you? <laughs> You're a brave man. All right, so anyway... Magic. What is he doing just now? I don't know. He's doing his uh, <laughs> Magic Godfrey routine. <laughs> it doesn't fly. So anyway, Magic, what I'm saying to you is, okay. how do you keep orderliness in the theaters? Everything's no. going okay no, in the theaters. I, everything is great. I don't really have to keep orderliness. I think that what happens is that people uh, respect the building. Respect I think they respect your name. What we're trying to do. Uh, it provides quality entertainment for them. Right. Uh, it provides jobs for people that live in those communities, and so that's what it's all about. Are there metal detectors? No. We really? Never, never, no metal detector never, never, in the Magic respect. Johnson Theater? No, no way. No way. We you never, are insane. I would never disrespect my people like that. Never. never. Someone told me that you were strapping people into their seats like Hannibal Lecter. Uh -uh. So that everyone would behave. I, 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 think, I think that only happens in the suburbs. I <laughs> so, so, only in those other communities. And what is this about the bulletproof popcorn box that you developed? <laughs> uh, well, I, 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 again, I got that from the suburbs. Right. So you're saying that you're already turning a profit with these movie theaters? Of course. You are. We're doing very well, and uh, the theater business is suffering as a whole. Because, yeah, because they're no good movies. Uh, you know, well, that, that, <laughs> that hurt as well. Yes. And I think that uh, they built a 30 plexes and the 25 plexes and a lot of them are not uh, uh, you know making money right now when you, because first of all listen you were a basketball player mm -hmm. and right away everyone's going to say oh basketball player what the hell does he know about business hey, right, hey, right. it's one thing if you can play basketball it's another thing to go out there and do business mm -hmm. are they are they using your name as a front or are you the guy running the magic johnson theaters no they're not using my name as a front first right. of all uh, we put up dollar for dollar with uh, Sony. Right. And uh, so I own half. They own half. Nice. And, uh, you That's know. not his only business, too. I know. We got Starbucks. We got TGI You got Star Friday. You have Starbucks? I have 20 Starbucks. And, uh, Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You what? own Starbucks. I he own has twenty of them. Twenty of them. In there. How do you get into that? I would like to own well, a few of those myself. Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, if you could help. How do you? I'm, seriously, I'm, I'm the only partner of Starbucks. Is you know, that they right? They own all their companies. All the other ones are company, company, company-owned stores. Where are the Starbucks? Uh, all in the. 
In a city. Uh, oh, in a city Starbucks. No wonder you have a Oh, name. that's why. Yeah, you so see? You, you can't hang out with us brothers. Is it be, does it say, like, Magic Johnson Starbucks? No, no, we want them to say just Starbucks. But do brothers know not to screw with it because Magic Johnson owns Starbucks? No, they, they're not going to screw with it anyway. Because really? Because they love going in there, drinking their coffee, and having a good time. Gilbert, you own nothing. Uh, yes. You're a total loser. Yeah. <laughs> I have a can of coffee at home. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's amazing. I'm Starbucks. A and what else did you see? You got the Magic Johnson Theater, Starbucks. TGIF Friday. TGIF Friday. Yeah, 24 hour fitness. How many of those do you have? TGIF Friday. We're building the second one right now. No okay. kidding. Yeah, yeah. So it's, everything is going good, man. I'm like you, I'm trying to be like you. Have a lot of money. A lot of money. You got oh, you got please. tons of money. <laughs> I think you already did. But you didn't make, how much money did you make when you were a ball player? I mean, you parlayed this. Yeah, I parlayed it. No. And question. what about the endorsement deals and stuff? I don't see you endorsing anything anymore. Was that because of the AIDS thing that uh, the, these guys dried up, or was it because I, you retired, well, or what? I'm still with uh, you know American Express. I still got in Coors, so I still got a couple of them. But I'm not. That's not my focus. Really? My focus is business. But isn't that I, I easy love, money? I love being a business. No, the easy money is owning the Lakers now. That's the easy money. Now, how much money can you make doing that? That's uh, got to be a, a fortune. Lot, a lot of money because they're the world champions, number one. Right. We sell it's out. A great e team. Sell out every game. What may turn it around? Is it Phil Jackson? Oh, yeah. And, and the fact that Kobe and Shaq uh, matured as young men and decided that they have to play together to win the championship. But isn't it weird? Because, I mean, I what I know about basketball can fit into a thimble. But the fact of the matter is that Kobe and Shaq were not gelling until Phil Jackson got there. So, so something, that, this guy Jackson actually is oh, the real deal. Oh, I always no, thought it was no. Michael Jordan carried Phil Jackson's career. But he seems to know what he's doing. Well, Phil Jackson knows what he's doing. He's an excellent coach. He's a, a, You know what it is? He knows how to handle people and how to get people to really... Uh, play together, but also play above their talent level. Why was it such a disaster when Dennis Rodman joined the Lakers? Why couldn't Phil Jackson get him under control? Well, you have to remember, Phil wasn't a coach when Dennis came. That's true. And, and that was Dennis, Dennis uh, if you, Dennis is like a, a, a free spirit, and so you have to have a coach that understands that. Right. And I think at that time, our coach didn't understand Dennis, and then Dennis... You know, it's a wild guy. He wants to hang out and uh, party, yeah, drink, yeah, and have a good time. But right. he has to remember he was when he was doing all his damage. He was still a rel relatively young man. Right now, you still can't party and go out there and grab twenty rebounds, even though some nights he could still do that. It wasn't consistent, but he wasn't consistent. But I, I love Dennis. Dennis was a, a winner. He uh, played great defense, and you probably won't never see a power forward like Dennis again. And uh, he doesn't own any Starbucks, does he? No, no, no. No, no Starbucks for Dennis. <laughs> well, we just had him on a couple of days ago. Now he's got RodmanTV.com. Right, right. Have you been Where, tuning in? Have you been tuning no, into that? No. <laughs> I, I can only imagine. <laughs> you don't own a piece of that, do you? <laughs> I think that's going to be big. I do. Well, I really what? do. With him, it, it could be. He probably... He's trying to be the black Howard Stern. Yes, he is. He's trying to. No, no, really. I'm serious. Yes, you're absolutely right. I know. But uh, I don't know. I do thought I was. Can, I feel I'm the black Howard it? Stern. Do well, you no, think he, he can make it? it in your no, head. because I feel that I made my uh, career in broadcasting. Yeah. Dennis is not a broadcaster. Right, I feel right. Dennis is a flamboyant figure. Mm -hmm. You couldn't be a power forward. No, I couldn't. And he can't be a broadcaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I lost to a midget in <laughs> basketball. <laughs> and I'm six foot five. So. I know I can't be a power forward. <laughs> That's the amazing thing about it. But I thought, you know, in fact, he was in here saying that he might actually play for the Harlem Globetrotters, that that's probably the team that'll take him, no. you know. They, yeah. Is that right? That, I don't think he's doing that. I do. He can't get with the team. The only other thing he had was uh, Isaiah Thomas was thinking of making him a coach. A player coach. A player coach. And I said to Dennis, wouldn't, you make, wouldn't the team have to practice? And you know what he said to me? Team doesn't have to practice. Oh yeah, because he did. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> he did. You know, he wants to party and wake up at five, six. You know, no, in the early evening. You can't evening, do it. You know, and you can't look. I, I love Dennis. He, in terms of a basketball player, he was right. a, a he's great, fun to watch. Yes, he's yeah, a draw, and, and no question about it. He's one of the. He was a top entertainer in basketball. One of them, uh, you know, he's a I, showman. Probably top five guys, but. The thing about it is you have to understand that there's rules and regulations right. in basketball and in the NBA, and you have to follow those rules. Right. And, so, you know, Dennis loved the break rules.
And the, what did you think? He, the, the other thing he said was that if Larry Bird had been a black guy, he would have just been an average player. Yeah, what do you think of that? That's no, what Dennis said. No. He says because he was no, white. No, no. you saying Larry Bird was good? Sorry, sorry. You don't agree? I, I don't agree. Larry Bird wasn't good. He was great. He was. Larry could play basketball. You don't think people got a little charged up because he was a white guy? No. I know I did. Well, <laughs> uh, 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 you know what? Uh, of course, people got charged up because the, the game is dominated by... Uh, African Americans, but Dennis knows that Larry Bird could play basketball and dominate, right? And dominate brothers, dominate white guys. He didn't, it didn't matter what who was out there. And we're starting to see the return of some white guys into uh, basketball. You got some of these big uh, foreigners, like yeah, these uh, yeah, European yeah, dudes. Yeah. I don't know where they're from, but some Slavic nation. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, well, we're right. sneaking into it. But you know, totally. Yeah. You, you, it's going. They're hopefully, there's going to always be some. You know, right. that's going to be it makes it a little interesting to, to well, play. Well, you know, the, um, you know, the dream team this year in the Olympics had a tough time. Yeah. Oh, tough man. Time. A lot of white guys? They, they were losing to white no, guys. I rest my case. They, they embarrassed <laughs> all of us. By, were you embarrassed by the dream team I was this embarrassed year? by that close... Uh, Victory that they had, yeah, right. Yes, yeah, you were. Just a, yeah, because when you did the dream team, what was that? Ninety two. Yeah, we blew everybody out by forty seven, fifty points. It was it was uh, the pride of uh, America. Exactly. And so, I I didn't like what happened, and I don't like the fact that I, it seemed like they were trying to they weren't really into it. Right. You know, we're supposed to blast these countries to show them that we're the greatest. Yeah, and look how good you're doing do here. That. I should have been your co-host on that TV show. Yeah, I see that. I, 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 I probably, the chemistry. I'd probably still be on. You would be. You would have had it. You would have had never co-host, so stop. <laughs> Who would have? Magic would have called. I, I, you would have said hey, no. Like no, you said I would have had, 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 had to co-host That's with him. Right, there it is. I tell you what, you give me some of that action on that Starbucks and L.A. Lakers, I tell you what, I would co-host. Howard, I am kind of disappointed today. Why? You got all these doggone men in here. What was the women? The women, I know. Yeah, now what happened to that? What? We do have women. We had a woman. We had a woman in here today. We had a woman in here today who was a stripper. Oh my. And uh, you just showed up late. Oh. <laughs> we had a real beauty of a girl here, I'm telling you. It was actually perfect. Yeah, I'm here this morning. Now, we were talking about some more controversial things. You were hit up with uh, some kind of lawsuit. You went for a massage. I read this, and it seems yeah, like you it were... Stupid. It was a stupid thing. It was a stupid it's a, thing. As a wealthy, prominent yeah, man, though, why are you getting massages? Why not? Why can't he get a massage? I get a massage almost once a week. Yeah, but you've got to know the masseuse. Yeah, but yeah, at that time, we were on the road. Right. And a friend knew her. Uh huh. So and there were know, people a, in the room. Exactly. And when a friend knows her, yeah. you're going to say, okay, cool. He had got a massage by her many times. Right. But people wanted to get paid. That's bottom yeah. line. So did you You didn't have to go to court over this? Or no, no. Like the it. prosecutors, they threw that thing they out. They threw it yeah, out. Right. They, All right. They, it, was, it was so bogus. And you see, you're a target. Happened. You have to be careful. Oh, no question about it. And the same as you. Uh, you anyone. Have to be I think you're a bigger too. target. Yeah, you're a bigger target than me. Cause you, got, <laughs> you got Starbucks. A 6 9 target. Yeah. Uh, you got okay. Starbucks money. <laughs> I'm telling you. Now, Magic Johnson is here promoting something. The yeah. first annual three-on-three Wall Street Classic. Whatever the hell that yeah, what's is. That? Yeah. What Basketball. Basketball. Three on three. Three on three. Basketball Will you be playing? Tournament. Yeah, I'm going to play the actual winner of the tournament. I'm going to take two other NBA former players, and we're going to play against the champion. Uh, is that right? Yeah. It will be a three on three Wall Street Classic. It will take place on October 28th at Basketball City in New York City. Yep, in and if New you, York. And if you want it, so in other words, three guys could play you and two other NBA That's guys? That's right. Oh, well, they're going to get their asses kicked. No, but that's the fun of it, though. Getting your ass kicked. Yeah, and, and, and videotaping it and everything. Ass kicked by the best. Yeah, so. <laughs> what, what is it, uh, Baba Buhai? You know, I want to ask Magic. I was just checking this out. I was looking through the notes. got this really cool quote. So I guess uh, a couple of years ago, Chauncey from Stepping Out asked um, Magic about you and you know your relationship with uh, Magic and Howard. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, Howard's got a problem with me because I never do a show, you know, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> He said, you know, Howard can't bring me down. I'm still here. I'm still standing. Right. And then he said, you know what? I'm going to be working for a long time, and that's very tough for the people on the Howard Stern Show to take. Meanwhile, Howard won't be on TV long after I'm still here, and you can bet on that. I'll still be on TV long after Howard Stern is gone. All right, so. Wow. Uh, listen, he was wrong. I was very wrong. Right. But wh who cares about TV when you're a successful businessman like you? What do you need that you know for? What? I always said to you, what do you need that Actually, for? Actually, the failed TV show... Helped me out a lot. How? Because now, business-wise, it just took off. Really? Yeah. Because why? Know. You're concentrating on business? 
No, it's just that that wasn't for me. You know, right. you, you're great at what you do. You got it out of your system. Exactly. I tried it. I was, I failed. Right. It was terrible. I'm not laughing but, at you, Magic. I'm just sitting there watching Gilbert. <laughs> Gilbert's really afraid of you. Why is he afraid? No, that's good. I feel like i got to give him my milk money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got scared when he said, where are the women? I know. <laughs> I, I was the like, weakest guy in the room. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. But, but uh, you know, then you moved on to something that I'm very good at. Right. That... Uh, that is needed in our community, and uh, I'm happy. Right, right. I'm happy. All right, so you're happy. Gilbert, you're Magic's wife tonight. That's oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a woman sitting there next to him. In low pavement. Take off your clothes. I don't, think yeah. co- I don't think Cookie would go for that. No. Now, how is Cookie, and, how, and, by, and also answer, how is your health? You are the he- We just talked about this. We read a report that you are so healthy at this point yeah. that there is no trace of HIV in your blood. Yeah. How is this possible? Well, you take your medicine and you work out and you have a good diet. And, uh, like, when I leave here, I go work out and make sure that uh, I keep healthy and strong. Is the medicine so strong now it can actually knock it out of your system? Oh, yeah. it can. Uh, it, the medicine is so advanced now. Wow. Man, it's amazing what they're doing right now. Is it because you're rich you can get special medicine or is this the same medicine everyone no, else no, is taking? No, no, no. I mean, of course... I get a chance to have my medicine probably earlier because I have money, and then once they come out with the drugs, they're so expensive, and then it comes down. You know, so you don't have bad wise. days uh, health wise. I mean, oh, you're, no. you are really. No. This no. is no. amazing. It's, it's I work out there. five days a week. Yeah. Really? And, uh, and they say someday you may not and need to take medicine, right? Well, you know, I. I don't try that. <laughs> Stay with it. You know, you say, yeah, you got to somebody well, Things else. are going well. Why change yeah, the system? Exactly. You don't want to change it. And uh, you just, again, when you when you when you been in a regiment like I have been, taking the medicine twice a day, working out five days a week, you you stay with it because that's what. What got kind of workout are you doing? You do what you do, know, do you do? I lift weights probably for about forty five minutes, and then I I do a cardiovascular for. About another hour, hour and a half. Oh, no kidding. We so do get the bike, tread, you treadmill, treadmill and run, and then the bike. No kidding. Yeah. This has probably been very good for you because even after basketball, you've stayed in really a- good exactly. shape. Exactly. Oh right. man, I'm in probably better shape than I was uh, now than I was when I was playing basketball. Mm. It's amazing. Me too. Yeah, Gilbert, you've never <laughs> you been. Too, Gilbert. Yeah, Gilbert has never been. Weights. What do you do, yeah. Gilbert? What do you What's do? Your well, I like bench press. You bench press? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He bench presses all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's go to uh, a couple of questions. Okay. Hod, you're on the air. You're on with the great Magic Johnson, who is having his first annual three-on-three Wall Street Classic. This is to raise money. And uh, this money will go to the Jump Start Foundation. What's that? I don't know. It's, it's, it's uh, inner-city kids playing uh, basketball. And uh, it's a great program because they not only teach them basketball, but also monitor them in school. And uh, really just it's a place for them to go home away from home. You know, like it's like a boys club type situation. So this is a way to help out. Yeah, uh, exactly. Go ahead. Let's go to um, Had or Hod. Hod? He was there a second ago. He's gone. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hmm. Like magic. Gone. Are you there? Hod? Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Hello? Yes. Okay, hey, um, I was wondering, if I heard, uh, I'm from Connecticut, mm-hmm. up by Mohegan Sun. Uh, Magic, are you are you opening some restaurants down here at Mohegan Sun? Mohegan Sun. Uh, well, you know what? Is that the, uh, casino? the casino? Is it the casino? Yeah. 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 I would like to, no question about it, you know, but I, I haven't. Uh, Have you got any it. Indian blood? Uh, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> Are you an Indian? No. Robin's part Indian, actually. <laughs> uh, I, like I said, I would like to, but I no, I haven't been pursuing okay, anything. Okay, we heard on we read in the paper out here that um, they're doing an expansion, and you're going to have two restaurants in there. Well, <laughs> you know what? I had talked to them, ooh, a long time ago, but. They hadn't gotten back to me, so maybe. What are you worth now, man? I mean, you got to be worth what? A hundred million? Easy? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, he was more worth, than that. He was worth that when he exactly. quit basketball. Exactly. Oh, please. So. Well, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you were making a ton of dough as a basketball player between endorsements and money, right? Yeah, but. You could have retired. I mean, not, and not really worried about money. Well, I can retire any day, but that's, it's no fun to retire. I mean, you can retire right now, but right. what would you do? Business just turns you on. Oh, yeah. It's. it's Man, it's so much fun. It's it's, it's exciting. It's uh, something that I've always wanted to do after basketball. Right. And then I would go crazy. I'm like my dad. I'm a worker. 
Right. I, I love to work. I'm happy when I'm working. Right. All right. Does that answer your question? You got a thought set, and we thought you were going to be out here uh, having some restaurants. Well, well, you, still could have, well yeah, right? it's still good. All right. Happen. He'll do it. Maybe someday he's going to hook up with the Indians. And <laughs> we're st- we have a stern and magic uh, sports bar. We're looking for that. <laughs> People want that. Barbara, yeah. go ahead. You're on with Magic Johnson. Hello. Yeah, Hi, honey. Magic. Hello. Hi. I'm so glad that you're doing well, and I hope you can help me. I understand you take this medication, which uh, Howard returned to as a, uh, referred to as a cocktail. Mm-hmm. Uh, could you tell me a little of the medication? Because the person that's so close to me takes medicine, makes him so sick that he doesn't want to go back on the medicine, and that's dangerous to be not on any medicine. But, well, let me say that every uh, the medicine acts different in in, in every individual. So. Some people can stomach certain types of medicine, and some people can't. So I think what he has to do, that the person that you're talking about, is get what he can take. You know, because you have to remember, everything, every med, all the medicine, the cocktail acts different in every individual. It's just like my T cell counts might go go way up by taking the medicine, which it did, mm-hmm. and but others, it may nothing may not happen for them. So your so, example is inappropriate for this woman. Exactly. So, you know, I can't say what is good for that person because right. only his doctor can really uh, tell him that. Yeah. Can, I, can I ask you this, Magic, because you refer me to your doctor. Well, I, uh, I got two doctors. I got one, uh, Dr. Melman, in uh, Los Angeles because that's where I live. And the ultimate doctor is Dr. Ho, who lives here in New York. He's the ultimate guy. Yeah. Why do you say that? He's the, he, he's he's been in HIV and AIDS longer than any other doctor here. In Chinese cat. Yeah. Doctor Ho. Doctor Ho. Ho. Look H-O. for Doctor Ho. How do you spell he's that? He's great. H O. H O. He's the best. Best in the in the world. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much and be well. Thank you. Thank you. Lord knows I like hoes. <laughs> <laughs> You're not married anymore. No, I am not married. Wow. I am not a married man Boy, anymore. Women must be going crazy over you. Not really. Me and Gilbert in the same boat. <laughs> <laughs> Rich and no women, huh? Uh, right now I get laid more hard. than Howard. Yeah, he oh gets laid more than God. me. Is that, that right? Yeah, you ever think that day would happen? <laughs> right. yeah. It's unbelievable. All it? these girls come up in here. Hey, listen, it's not easy. And what about you? You must go crazy. You can't party like you used to. No, nah, no. Nah, you know what? I party. Cookie and I party. You and, do? And that's good enough. Plus, it's, it's, it's old. That's old. Now. It is? Yeah. That never gets old to me. But no, no. You know, well, you still go, well, you know, you still go to a strip no, club, though, right? I still go out every now and then. But All right. what I'm saying to you is it's the same thing. When you've been doing it for so long. Yeah, or even Rodman was yeah, in here the other yeah. day. He said, man, i got to stop this. I'm Rodman, like, well, after Rod, the microphone. Rodman, look, Rodman can never stop. <laughs> so let me tell you something. He's only happy when he's in a bar or somewhere. <laughs> Rodman said to me, the microphones were off, and he turned to me, and he looked serious. Mm-hmm. And he said, to me, I've been doing this for 15 years, all this partying and carrying on, it's getting old. He wants to re- he is dead serious. He wants I, to remarry Carmen Electra. Is that right? That's yeah. what he tells me. He says he's going to keep working on it until she remarries him, and he's going to settle down. Wow. This is what he is saying. Yeah. Wow. He says he's got to stop. This is what he, and he was serious. Wow. And he looked serious. I don't know. He mean, he got yeah, all, he got right. all freaked out about it. Is there were no right. microphones on at the time. Right. Oh, that, okay. Dennis, all right. Hey, bring well, him back good, to the Lakers. Well, good luck. <laughs> you know, because Carmen, I don't know if she's ready for you. How'd you work into getting to be an owner of the Lakers? Or how do you get to do that? I don't understand. Well, <laughs> who was the dude that owned it? Did you start that well, when you were playing for them? Well, I guess it was like Dr. Buss has always considered me like a, a stepson in a mm-hmm. sense. And so um, I asked him, could, you know, I buy into the team. And, Were you uh, still playing at the time? No, no, oh. no. Well, you know, he uh, he knew that I always wanted to own part of the team when I was playing, no mm-hmm. question about it. But uh, mm-hmm. when I got out, he said, uh, okay, it's going to cost you this amount, and uh, wow. you can have 5%. So that's what happened. So, so you have 5% of the team. Yeah. And what that means is that you get 5% of the gross. That's right. From the television money. Everything. From everything. everything. The when boxes. The, up the pie. Has the, the investment playoff. paid off? Oh, my goodness. Come on. Howard. Really? Howard. We just won, and we sold out. We got almost 300 boxes. You know, those boxes go for about 300,000. But how, but how did you determine How did you determine how much money you had to pay him? He just said this is this it for 5%. Exactly. This is I, the number. I, I didn't determine it. Did you think it was a fair number? Oh, yeah, it was fair. 
Especially now, <laughs> where <laughs> us being in the new Staples Center. Have you been there yet? No. Oh, you got to come out, man. It's, it's 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 great. Oh, it's beautiful. And, and if they and if you ever sell the team, of course, you get five percent of that. There you go. But you wouldn't sell it. No, I don't think he would right now. But people are throwing big. Big numbers at it. Well, yeah, the team's a real winner right now. It's got to be exciting. Five hundred million dollars for the team. Oh, that's amazing. Well, it's always good seeing you. You too, man. Uh, you Magic you Johnson, go. Uh, Next time, I will be here on time. It wasn't my fault. It is your entourage. I, I ne- I'm never, I'm never late for interviews. You got time for two more phone calls? Three more yeah, phone calls? Yeah, okay, yeah, go, go ahead. ahead, Chuck. Go ahead. You're on the air. Hi, uh, Magic. What's up? Um, with all due respect, I think you're full of baloney. Okay. About what? I don't think you ever had AIDS, man. I never seen anybody <laughs> like healthier than no. you are. Well, I, I never had AIDS. You're right. That's a good point. <laughs> HIV, but not AIDS. Right. Well, you're right then. Then why I mean, did he have to stop playing for a while? That was a ridiculous thing to do. Yeah. Well, you yeah. know, I mean, in hindsight, I mean, everybody didn't it. know. So, so you don't believe him? Career move ever. You think it was a career move? A uh, career move. Right. Career move. I'm going to give up the thing that I love the most. Okay. All right. No. I don't think so. All right. Let's go to double A. Double A, what is your uh, question? A. Yo, what's up, Howard? Hey. Hey, uh, quick question, uh, Magic. Is this true you did a Stern show for uh, Kendra Dre's uh, butt billionaire contest? Uh, Get out of here. Hey, one more question, you. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> Magic, like your real question. Right, yeah. I think you got a real question. <laughs> did you watch the debates last night, Magic? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Now, who do you think, who do you back in this election? Gore. You do You do back Gore. But you were a Bradley man. Yeah. I, 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 Why Bradley? Because he played ball? I mean, let's face it. A lot of black athletes came out for uh, uh, Bill, Bradley. Bill Bradley. I never saw, um, uh, what's his name? Um, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan come out for any politician. <laughs> but Bill Bradley comes out. Yeah. Same with you. I mean, you went no, out right for Bill Bradley. No, no, everybody has to remember something about me and Bill Bradley. I was for Bill, Bill Bradley shoot, six years ago, knowing that he would be, I think, a great president President, be, because he's just a man who stands for something, you know, and uh, he stands up, he tells you straight, you know, what he's going to do. So it wasn't the basketball thing. No, no. Although no. there is a connection there. No. Oh, of course. Of course. And he's a winner. Right. And I think Gore's a winner, too, and I think he'll win. And I got news for you. Uh, I, I don't know... I, first of all, I thought it was disturbing. You talk about the black vote, since you're involved with inner city That's businesses. Right. And stuff. I don't know too many black people who want to vote for Bush. Because I'll tell you something. I, I thought it was a joke when Col- Colin Powell got up there to uh, make a speech at a public convention, and all they did was shoot uh, black faces in the audience. Like it was like a racist well, thing. Well, you, 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 you Wouldn't know that bother you? Oh, well, it did bother me because they were trying to say it's a lot of blacks in the Republican Party, which is not. Right. So they try to make it look that way. Brendan, go ahead. You're on with Magic Johnson. Only time for a question right. or two more, and then we go back to Gilbert Godfrey. Go ahead. Okay. Hi, Magic. Uh, right. Months before your historic uh, press conference, I was in Key West, Florida, and there were guys who were obviously gay there. They were walking around with T-shirts saying that they had sex with you. What do you think uh, about that? Well, you, you get know. in frame with that a lot? Yeah, that's so stupid. Is it going to dog you the rest of your life? No. It don't even dog me now. You don't even care? It just no, seems, you know, no, like a but, weird coincidence, well, you know? But that's so stupid. But thanks a lot for hey, trying if you that. Think that, that if you think good, that was a good try. That was a good try. Here, I'll, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll tell you what. I'm going to test. I'll test Magic right now. Magic, kiss me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. And, see, okay. he wouldn't do it. Okay. If he tries to okay. slip your tongue, you'll know. <laughs> if he slips me the tongue, I'll know. You know, you know how it. Was and you funny. didn't watch the world's sexiest bachelor, did you? No, I don't think so. I did. I had a favorite. <laughs> I'm wondering about me. <laughs> you know, I think it's funny that uh, straight guys think that they can't get uh, uh, any kind of diseases. Or HIV. Mm, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Well. That's who's getting it now. That's right. That's All right. heterosexuals right now, they have to watch out. Before it was, of course, gay men. You right. know, probably, what, I think 10 years ago. But now it's not like that. The numbers have gone up. That's right. All right, listen. Uh, Magic Johnson's first annual three-on-three Wall Street Classic will take place on October 28th at Basketball City in New York City. For more info, go to princemarketinggroup.com. Yeah. Or you can call 1-800-98-PRINCE. And a portion of this money raised will go to the Jumpstart Foundation. Good to see you, Magic. Good to see you, too. I'm fun. glad we all finally got back together. I know. Yeah. We we'll yeah. have to do it again. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> and this yeah, time, I will be here be early. Early, on time. You know, all right. That was not my fault. I apologize. Whose fault was it so we can yell at him? Uh, well, yell at Darren. 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 Uh, 
<laughs> Darren, you, it Darren was what's your, your problem? Yeah. All right. Because I'm, I'm listening to you all the way here, right? And you huh. just lighten into me. To <laughs> just, yeah, it's best I, to, I was like, man. It's best to be and, on and time. I am. I'm sitting in the lobby at 7 o'clock like I was supposed to. All right. Waiting for the car to come. Yeah, but, I'm glad you didn't you know. ask him that question you were planning to ask. Listen, uh, you never know. And uh, who knows who will show up after you leave. It could be uh, Magic Godfrey. You know, no. <laughs> well, I, I'm going to come back. Is that okay? Uh, absolutely. We'd love that. And we in would fact, love to have you anytime. Anytime yeah. we'd yeah, love I'm to have you on here, Magic Johnson. And uh, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back with the news right after this. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, get ready to give it up for Howard Stern and the Losers. <laughs> That was very polite of you to allow Magic some of your air time. Oh, yes. Because he was late. You were on time. I mean, I think you wrote a big apology. I, I think you should come in here and apologize to me, <laughs> personally. <laughs> you were very well behaved, though. You sat there quietly. Yeah, I, I, I'm i very well behaved as this, like a 10-foot black man. All right. You're yeah. afraid of black people, right? Yes. Yeah. You admit that. Yes. Right. You're not that afraid of... You're afraid of white men, too, but... Yeah. <laughs> right. But more afraid of black guys. Well, he was very, very nice to you. It's funny, as Magic was leaving, he was saying, if I get to L.A., I can use his floor seats. Yeah. Nice. And uh, I turned to Gilbert and I said, notice, uh, you can't, Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> And Magic didn't say anything. Yeah, didn't, yeah that's right. Yeah. Like Gilbert wasn't here. Gilbert yeah. didn't say a word while Magic was here. Well, uh, Gilbert he didn't say a word while Magic was saying goodbye. Yeah. Gilbert mostly socially is invisible. <laughs> I mean, outside of his uh, on stage persona. That is amazing. He's pretty much invisible the rest of his life. People ignore you, right? They, yeah, yeah. They don't find you attractive. Yeah, he was like, yeah, when when you're he not was well leaving. liked. There was a big crowd of people, and I was, like, sitting here in the corner. You were excluded yeah. from the conversation. Yeah. Amazing. Right. We were having a great discussion. In fact, uh, the next time Magic comes on, we're going to talk about uh, Kobe Bryant marrying an 18-year-old yes, high school student. Like. Yeah. And what that's like, because uh, Magic gave us many details. And the whole time we were talking, Gilbert was uh, just Jewish wallpaper. Not yeah. <laughs> he just sat there and uh, didn't uh, do anything. Did you even hear the conversation, Gilbert? No, no. <laughs> I don't even think Magic understood who Gilbert was. He'd never even heard of him. Really? He didn't? Didn't even say goodbye to Gilbert. Despite your high-profile position on Hollywood School. Oh yes. Uh, he had no clue who you were. He probably <laughs> thinks Gilbert's a listener. Right. <laughs> who wanted a chance to sit next to Magic Johnson? Oh yes. Yeah, I wanted. To... <laughs> we should have told him that. <laughs> Magic, this uh, here is Gilbert Godfrey. He wanted a chance to sit next there to. There you go. <laughs> He's your biggest fan. Mm, yeah. Well, Gilbert has this inordinate fear that his girlfriend will be stolen away by Magic Johnson. Yeah. I I uh, I really identified though when he said he gets tired of the partying and the girls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have that same yeah. problem. 
Yeah, that you you were pretty burned out on that. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a little too much. Yeah. It got burned out before it started. That's right. <laughs> Gilbert, I understand you'll be performing tomorrow night at Caroline's on Broadway. That has to be a feather in your cap. Oh. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> why is it that? Why is it that Magic Johnson has movie theaters and Starbucks and and you have nothing to show? Yeah, you have no feather in you your have yarmulke. Nothing. Yes. <laughs> Why don't you sing a prayer right now that will bring you good luck in business? And this is uh, for good luck? Yes, this is a special (laughs) prayer for good luck. All right, I know that you're interested in uh, everything that's going on in the news. You read a lot of newspapers. I really am. You like Richard Belzer? You read six, seven newspapers a day? (laughs) Yeah, babe. Yeah, Yeah, sure. Uh, Did you watch the debates? I, I think I caught about two minutes. Why? I why is that? Are you not interested in the future yeah, of this country? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. You're Are not you... working on an impression of the president? Oh, oh yeah. Do I'm your a... impression of Al Gore. Oh, Go yeah. I'm like so Rich brilliant. Little. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do Bush. Do you yeah. do, uh, do an impression of Joe Lieberman's rabbi? Oh. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Excited about the first Jewish vice president? Oh, oh yes, there. you are. Yeah, it's a very, very big thrill. You don't identify for with my that? people. For your people, all right. Yes. Do you my know pe- he has his own yarmulke maker? Yeah. He has his own y- yeah. what bulletproof yarmulkes? <laughs> yes. No. Do you know he has his own yarmulke maker? No. Yeah. Do you have that? Oh yes. Yeah. yeah he follows me around. Right. He's in my posse. But you're not an active Jew. I mean, you don't have yeah. to go to temple or anything, do you? No. No. He's not an active anything. In fact, you're not even an active participant in anything yeah. that uh, Magic John. I'm not an active to. human uh, being. All right. <laughs> all right, go ahead. You were asking for the ratings on uh, World's Sexiest Bachelor? Go ahead. So it came in fourth place. Oh. Okay, and I'll tell you what happened. Everybody Loves Raymond did a 15-5 with a 22 share. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Then Monday Night Football did an 11-7 with a 16 share. Go ahead. Then number three was some show on NBC, not Dateline, but Deadline. Mm-hmm. Do you know what Deadline is? I watched it. As a matter oh, of fact... that's a new show. They did a report, I think, on... Um, who was it? No, uh, no, no. They did Deadline. It's not a uh, no. Deadline is that new TV series. show. Oh, with, it's a drama uh, series. Yeah, oh. a newspaper series. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, go ahead. Yeah. So that did a nine five with a thirteen, and then Bachelor did like a six five with a nine. So it came in fourth place. Oh, that's mm, not good. Six five with a nine. We were the only one watching. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't take my eyes off it. It was like a train wreck. <laughs> Anyway, I know there's a lot of things in the news. I've asked Gilbert to sit in on the news, unless she has some other commitment. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Notice he has no place right. to go. Yeah. No businesses. Yeah, you, no. Beauty. Oh. <laughs> I <like> my beauty. <laughs> and I get a big boner whenever you do the news. All right, there it is. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Great job. Yeah, that's when I was a mop cop. Everything you do, you do with such care. Yes. <laughs> I understand you ordered a special TV dinner for Rosh Hashanah. Oh, what yeah. was that? <laughs> yeah, Katya Varnishka. You didn't go to your family uh, for Rosh Hashanah? Rosh Hashanah. Uh, did you? Yeah, that's the real rabbi way of saying Did you it. go? Did you go on the Rosh Hashanah? Did you go to uh, your family? Did you sit with your mother and oh, your yes. sister? Oh, yes. 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 Did he really or did he not? <laughs> did you get a TV dinner for Elijah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Since Elijah was late, I had his dinner. <laughs> he loves TV dinner. Yes. Sir. Wow. <laughs> Did you see what they're doing in your old neighborhood? Which neighborhood? Rockville Center. Oh, yeah, go ahead. They have decided that uh, they will not allow any forums by political candidates who are for abortion. You know, like the archdiocese out there, they usually have at their churches, you know, you can have a little political get-together or candidates can come in. But now they will litmus test the candidates. And if they are not anti-abortion, they will not be allowed to speak. That's awfully... Even if uh, they're not going to speak on the abortion issue. That's awfully open-minded of them. <laughs> well, that's why, you know, the, the, that whole town is so goddamn backwards. Uh you know, the Archdiocese is right in Rockville Center. Yes. My parents have a great uh, way of picking neighborhoods where I'm accepted. <laughs> they either go to all black neighborhoods or where the Archdiocese is. <laughs> Let me tell you, you never feel acceptance 
<laughs> until you've been accepted by the archdiocese. Yeah. When you proceed as a Jesus killer <laughs> in the town with the archdiocese. They, you know, they were supposed to have uh, Hillary Clinton and Rick Lazio to do something, and they've decided to cancel that. Right. Because Hillary is pro-choice. Why did my parents just raise me in a lion's cage with a, with live lions? <laughs> you could have been as accepted there. They were so concerned about my well-being. <laughs> I don't care. You'll live where I tell you to. Get along. What are you talking about? What are you afraid of, black skin? You are? All right, I'll move you to where there's a bunch of people who hate Jews. <laughs> Fine, we got a place for you. We got a place for you. Wanna get, you don't want to live with blacks? We got something better in store for you. Bunch of anti Semites. <laughs> perfect. Oh, yes. And you'll be perfect there because you're so tall and skinny and you look like a money lender. So they're going to pick you right out. <laughs> Thanks. Perfect. We're going to put lights around your nose. <laughs> you know, me and your father think you'll do wonderful here. Yeah, hey, be, you said you wanted to move. You would have been Lynn. <laughs> we're we're going to give you a T-shirt that says Kaika. <laughs> in case anyone misses you. We're going to move you into town where even Jews are embarrassed to say they do. The best office is a good deal. Don't try to join the country club in this town. So we'll buy you a Kike T-shirt. Yeah. Here's a teacher that says, I killed Jesus. <laughs> oh, thanks, Ma. I'll put you in a school full of people who hate you. Because the last time we lived in, everybody hated you. I think Wait. white people are so great. Mom, do you think we can move somewhere where there's someone who could identify with me? We're no, changing I don't think your so. name to Shyla. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Jewy Juicy. <laughs> Michael Marquis. Yeah, here's, <laughs> here's your F the Church t shirt. Now go to school. Yeah, you got away with picking schools, Ma. Let me tell you, I feel very accepted. What happened? You got beaten by chains again today from the bikers? Yeah, I did, Ma. Not oh, too bad. Your father and I aren't afraid. Makes you tough. Makes you tough. Makes you tough. There you go. Oh, you exaggerate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anyway, there All was right. a debate last night. Here's a little, a few clips. Mm. Wasn't very exciting, but what can you do? <laughs> Here's your lunch money. Charge interest. <laughs> what? This is clips from the debate. <laughs> Any particular order? Vice President Al Gore and Governor uh, George W. Bush. And you notice that they made the commentators. They always have a discussion about what they will be called while they're being uh, referred to in the debate. So, yes. Uh, Al Gore picked vice president, mm -hmm. and you always had to refer to George Bush as governor. Governor, right. So okay. anyway, here is uh, the two of them squaring off on the energy issue with moderator Jim Lear in the middle, number two. We'll tackle this problem and focus on new technologies that will make us less dependent on big oil or foreign oil. How would you draw the difference? Well, I would first say that you should have been tackling this for the last seven years. And secondly, the difference is, is that we need to explore at home. Gilbert, who do you, uh, um, where do you stand on this issue? Oh, I, I had some real show on this. You should see him yawning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was oh. a yawn. It really was. I have energy. <laughs> Here's uh, <laughs> Gore accusing Bush of sacrificing environmental issues for oil. All right. Number three. Bush is proposing to open up our uh, some of our most precious environmental treasures, like the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, to the big oil. Do you think we should drill in the Arctic for oil? <laughs> I'll tell you, this is something you don't want to get me started. <laughs> <laughs> I know you care about the environment. Yeah, emotionally. Do you ever get political in your comedy act? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't Boy, that, that Eisenhower bit I do. <laughs> Did you see that Jim Lehrer, though? I mean, the guy has the jet black hair. He's about 900 years old. He's got shark's eyes. I mean, did, should a man dye his hair black when he has that many wrinkles in his face? <laughs> Maybe go gray a little bit? Companies to go in and start yeah. uh, producing oil there. Yes. And here's uh, George W. on the RU486 question. He, uh, he questions the approval by the FDA. What guy wouldn't be for abortion? You going to knock up some chick and not be able to get rid of the sucker? <laughs> That's what Bush said. All right. It ought to be more rare in America. And I'm worried that that pill will create more abortion. See? More abortion. He also made his position clear on the abortion issue, number five. You're for abortion, aren't you? Uh, uh, yes. You hate people. Yes. Right. I... I I think it should be mandatory in some cases. A child born and unborn ought to be protected in law and welcomed into life. 
where are you going to find that? Yeah, welcome to life in an unwanted family. So we should have the baby and do what with it? Let it grow up and prey on us? Here's Gore making his position on abortion. By the way, um, yeah, Gilbert was an unwanted child. <laughs> and he's an unwanted adult. <laughs> I support a woman's right to choose. My opponent does not. It is important because the next president is going to appoint three, maybe even four justices of the Supreme Court. Right. So keep that in mind. That's why he's saying this is a very crucial election. Dracula, are you pro-abortion? Uh, I like death. <laughs> Any kind of death. Any kind of death. A baby's death. An adult's death. Any death. I like killing little infants. <laughs> I like killing the fetus. You do. And drinking the blood. Of the fetus. Of the fetus. <laughs> Is that the best Making blood? get into a milkshake. You love it. Now, I thought you only drank the blood of uh, virgins. Is that true? I drink the blood of virgins and babies. Right. Unborn children. There's nothing better for the Zork. <laughs> All right, there you go. The Dracula point. So you'll vote for Gore. I vote for Gore. <laughs> I like Gore. <laughs> I like blood guts and Gore. Now, Costello, who do you vote for? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's ain't you saw the coffin move. <laughs> now look at this Dracula has to rise from his coffin every night Now you ever believe anything like this, Costello? <laughs> <laughs> you saying you saw Frankenstein? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, <laughs> Anyway, this is the one part of the debate where they say some points were scored. Here's George W. Bush attacking Al Gore on campaign finance reform. Number nine. Oh, number nine. Yes. Excuse me, Robin. The time for campaign funding reform is after the election. This man has outspent me. The special interests are outspending me. And, uh... And uh, I, I am not going to lay down my arms in the middle of a campaign for somebody who's got no credibility on the issue. So Vice President Al Gore answered this way, number 10. Mr. Parrot, where do you stand on this? <laughs> All right. Hey. Gilbert has played a parrot, Robin. I see. Governor Bush, you have yeah. uh, attacked my character yeah. and credibility. And I am not going to, going to respond in kind. I think we ought to focus on the problems and not attack each other. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> and I don't want to be killing our valuable white babies. <laughs> There will be uh, two more debates, and tomorrow evening we will have the one debate between the vice presidential candidates, Joe Lieberman and uh, Dick Cheney. Gilbert wants to say a special prayer for the Jewish vice president. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this is my favorite uh, George W. Bush statement. This is uh, where he tells us he's run a few things. He can he can be president, number 14. I ran my daddy's companies. Some experience. On the <laughs> I'm not of Washington. My brother helped out with the SNL scandal. <laughs> I'm from Texas. And he's got a lot of experience, but so do I. And I've been the chief executive <laughs> officer of the second biggest state in the union. <laughs> I think tonight he'll be watching the uh, country music award. Can you blow the shofar? <laughs> <laughs> we will run the one debate. And who won the debate? The, uh, Come on, let's let's have the answer. What is the feeling of the people who were watching? Uh, here's um, the CBS pollster. <gasps> Jackie the Poster <laughs> Gilson. Uh, Jackie the Poster Martin. Have a weird t shirt. She <laughs> says if there was any winner last night, those people surveyed gave it to the Democrat, number one. Is that right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what they say. 
Gilbert, I know you're interested. Yes. In this <laughs> debate, um, we knew from our pre-survey, that mm. pre, pre-debate survey, that Al Gore had a slight lead over George W. Bush in preference. And sure enough, when we asked those people who watched the debate who won, the answer was Al Gore. So there you go. Well, there you go, Robin. If you need a winner and a loser. That's how it turns out. That's it. You know, there's been some unrest in the Middle East. What else is new? Everybody's trying to figure out what happened, but they've been clashing over there for the last couple of weeks, and now I think the death toll is up to about 55, 56 people. I love that. You do. <laughs> you must love the Middle East. I love the Middle East. The blood. <laughs> so now there's, uh, you know, the... Um, <laughs> Leaders of the two sides are rushing over to Europe to meet with uh, an American official to try to straighten out all this, but the fighting continues even though they tried yesterday to have a truce. It didn't work out. So uh, yesterday and the day before, they were asking Hillary Clinton about this issue, and she refused to get off the fence. Then Rick Lazio said that uh, Yasser Arafat really ought to stop this. And so yesterday, Hillary Clinton said, Yasser Arafat really got to stop this. So mm. They're uh, saying once again she angered her Jewish friends by sitting on the fence and playing first lady as opposed to a New York senator. See? And uh, that may cause her problems. All right, here's the latest poll results. They say Gore and Bush, both winners, Gilbert Gottfried, loser. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that was a quick one. Yeah. That was a. Results back very that's called instant track. No brainer. <laughs> it was a no brainer. <laughs> You're going to find one person who said Gilbert was a winner. <laughs> they had a parole hearing, the first parole hearing uh, for Mark David Chapman, the man who killed John Lennon. He actually met with the parole board yesterday. Right. Gilbert, what about you? Do you have a stalker? Anybody stalking you? No, I'm not even big enough for a stalker. You don't have anything <laughs> yeah. like that in your career. <laughs> and the parole board was not impressed. They branded him a remorseless maniac big who fact. loved wallowing <laughs> in notoriety as the man who blew away one of the Beatles. So I guess they're not going to let him out. Right. <laughs> they said, but, no. but John would forgive him. <laughs> well, that's sad because uh, he killed the one guy who was for him. Yeah. Oh. I nearly forgive you for shooting me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I I have have no anger towards him for shooting me. <laughs> hey, a new character. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at you. Did you pull out a John Lennon? Yeah. Look at you. Oh. Where's your Chinese wife? <laughs> hey, look at that. John Lennon, let me ask you a question. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have a Chinese wife? Yes, I have a chink wife. <laughs> you do. Which I'm nailing. <laughs> yeah. Let me speak to her. Oh. <laughs> I like yellow kluge. <laughs> Give me more yellow kluge. Sounds like Johnny Carson. Yeah. <laughs> mm, that's wild. Yeah. <laughs> right, go ahead, Robin, please. So anyway, I'm uh, going to have sex with Yoko. Uh, Mark uh, David. <laughs> oh, is that, is that wild? <laughs> to, uh, All right, let's see what happens. the parole board again. <laughs> that's right. There's a new book out by the personal secretary, the longtime personal secretary of Princess Diana. Right. And uh, the oldest son of the prince and the princess uh, met the press the other day for the first time and said he feels that his mother has been betrayed. That's right. And this book is very hurtful to him and his brother. Yeah, but why don't we ever read about your mother? <laughs> <laughs> Dracula is... Uh, some people think that Lady Di is still alive and living somewhere. This is all publicity, son. Dracula, is Lady Di dead? She is not dead or alive. She is the undead. <laughs> she wanders at night through the tunnels of Paris. Right. Attacking drivers, <laughs> drinking their blood. <laughs> she changes into a bat at night. <laughs> but she must return to her coffin in the daytime, or the sunlight will kill her. <laughs> Only thing that can kill her is sunlight and a stake to the heart. 
Heath Anders for eternity, <laughs> drinking the blood of the living. All right. She does not die. <laughs> <laughs> she is Princess Not Die. Uh, princess Undie. She cannot die. Well, her body <laughs> dies, right? But uh, her body dies <laughs> temporarily. Oh. But then came back to life to drink the blood <laughs> of the living. <laughs> the blood, <laughs> not blood, but blood <laughs> of Barbara the Walters. living. I'm gonna scream. <laughs> Good. Barbara Walters consider herself Princess Die's friend. Yes. Did she say she was a friend of Die? Yes. She's a friend. No. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Ma, is is Lady Die a friend of uh, Barbara Walters? No. Oh. All right. Well, Interviewing this guy who wrote the book. Baba Baba Walters. Baba Baba Walters. Baba 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 Walters. Some friend. <laughs> Baba Baba Bowie. Baba Bowie. <laughs> well, wait. I know it won't be Magic Johnson. You don't have a show anymore. Uh, yes, uh, Babs, mm, no that one for 2020 will be. It was funny how much he sounded <laughs> like my imitation. When he came. Oh, hey, well, hello there. Didn't how are you? He said while he was here. Yeah, Take I know. Big whip. Big whip. Go ahead. So I Lady Di... I would you if you had said that while he was... Right, so Lady Di is not dead. She isn't dead. She's not she dead. Oh, she drinks no, blood. <laughs> Dracula Godfrey is next But, uh... I got yes. the coffee house. <laughs> Princess Di's, uh... <laughs> Former secretary who has betrayed her according to the royal family will be interviewed by Bob. Yeah, yeah. A tragic story. Oh, yeah. Nah, Bird's not a good player. He's a great player. Oh. He's really sung just like. Yeah. How dare you? He was as quiet as a church. Yeah, yeah. Well, you behaved when magic was in next to you. You were invisible. <laughs> you were like Jewish wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> Now he's got a big mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Big shot. Is he gone? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make fun a of him. A pregnant woman was found dead on Tuesday. Her baby torn from her belly. Cut out. In a crude cesarean section. Isn't that wild? And the woman is that, is that wild? the child. Ah. Hey, isn't that something? Uh, uh, Imagine herself as police arrived to question her. Imagine you're having a baby. <laughs> hey, did you hear this? <laughs> I don't even know who did I'm doing. I read a funny thing in the newspaper. <laughs> this is wild. This is wild. Now, this is a true story. Yeah. Uh, a lady who was pregnant had Are you her, with me on this? Yeah, had her yeah. baby cut out of her <laughs> by another woman. <laughs> Killed her. Took her baby. And pose as the mother. Is, is, right. is that clever? Uh, That's really clever stuff. Oh, now, I, uh, times have changed. Oh, now, well, would you know how to Now, now this, is, is, uh, this is crazy. Uh, it was in the paper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's, uh, Ed, Ed, you fat F, stop eating the dog food. <laughs> Go ahead, Robin. The body of Teresa Andrews, 23, who vanished a week before her due date, was found buried in the suspect's dirt floor garage. <laughs> it is unknown whether she was alive when the baby was taken. <laughs> but I wouldn't know how to perform a cesarean section. You could figure it out. These people are geniuses. You know, they, they're going to try to determine if this woman had had a recent miscarriage, because oftentimes this is the case. They want a baby so badly. That they, they take, someone, take else's. someone else's. What truth uh, is stranger than fiction, isn't a it, A similar case <laughs> occurred 13 years ago in Albuquerque when a woman faked a pre pregnancy, then abducted and strangled Cindy Ray, who oh, was Cindy eight, Ray. <laughs> eight and a half months pregnant. Darcy Pierre used a car key to cut the baby from the room. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, tried to pass story. the child car off as her own. <laughs> That is, that is really clever. Yeah. I read that in the newspaper. Was found uh, guilty. Now, now, now but this, this was Ill. in the paper today. Oh. And, True uh, story. Yeah. In suburban Chicago in 1995, a woman and two of her children were killed, and her unborn child was uh, slashed hmm. from her womb. You can't make this up. Because another <laughs> woman wanted the baby, the infant boy, survived. Ed, you should cut your stomach open. Look at the size of that thing. Hey, Ed, get on your knees. I'm horny. <laughs> <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> what else is in the news, Robin? Anything? Rosie O'Donnell is going to give up her talk show. Oh. When? And this concentrate is... on. I can't joke about this. Adoption. She's gonna. When is she leaving? 
She's giving up her successful talk show after her contract expires in 2002. Oh, no, oh, this is horrible. Putting together hmm. parents and kids has evolved into a time-consuming sideline for Rosie. According to the Ladies' Home <laughs> Journal, she was instrumental in finding a baby for Kate Jackson. Oh, she finds babies for, for famous for people. famous yeah. people, of course. Uh, in fact, Jackson gushed that she calls Rosie her son's angel because she was the conduit to bring them together. Oh, well, that is... I did uh, not know that. Well, may maybe we can rip a baby from someone's stomach and send it to her. <laughs> oh, that would be wild. I think oh, they should name the baby Pete Barboonie. <laughs> <laughs> O'Donnell says she enjoys hosting her talk show, but she's sick of all the crap that goes with it, and she finds that helping with adoptions is definitely more fulfilling oh. than oh. doing the top-rated program and interviewing. Well, that's very sweet, uh, Uncle Rosie. Uh, <laughs> Uncle Rosie. Uncle Rosie. <laughs> Uncle Rosie. No, no, no. She's she's crazy, crazy in love with Tom Cruise. Oh, know. that's right. Oh, that's, I read that. Uh, Oh, yeah, yes. absolutely correct. Rosie, yeah. of course, has four <laughs> adopted children. I don't children. doubt it for a second. <laughs> four <laughs> adopted children. I didn't know if it was up to four now. Wow. And she she has she, four kids? Four adopted children, and she four. can't understand the mm. public backlash when she adopted her third child, Blake. She says, uh, people were saying, look at her. She's adopting all these kids. It was like she's buying them. But she's eating them. But she <laughs> said if people who are waiting to adopt were as open to the situation as she is, their weights would be minimal. So she's very good at adoption, and she's going to help other people do it. Well, I did not know she was that good at that. Oh, well, she is a, a great mother, and she's in love with Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> that, that I am sure of. Oh, oh, um, that is why. I, I heard she steals babies uh, from women's stomachs <laughs> and adopts them. Oh. Spike Lee has a new movie. You now. are correct, sir. What is Spike uh, Lee has a new movie? What's yeah. that called? It's called Bamboozled. I'm sure it's good. And uh, Entity yeah. takes a jab at Tommy Hilfiger and Ving Rhames. Yeah. He has a character in the movie called Timmy Hill Nigger. Holy mackerel. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't putting that at the Magic Johnson movie theater. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, during uh, the course of events, Hill Nigger is a designer, of course. How disgusting is that? I mean, he's screaming about... Um, Quentin Tarantino using the N word, and yet he calls somebody Hill Nigger? Yeah. How dare he? And, uh. If I want to hear the term nigger, I'll sit and talk to Jackie. <laughs> right. Thank you for saying that. That's an appropriate place to say it. <laughs> and he also. Hey! <laughs> Ving Rames, who won a Golden Globe Award and gave it to Jack Lemon. And Bamboozled, which <laughs> opens on Friday, Damon Wayans' character accepts an award for creating an offensive minstrel show sitcom, then shoves it at presenter Matthew Modine, blubbering that a white guy deserved it more. Hey, it's time for me to do some black jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Nagers walk into a bar. Calvin Moulinon. Hey, bend your lips. Bend your lips. Hey, her head. Bend your lips. Lifted his arm. <laughs> and he had nappy hair. Oh. Oh. He was black as charcoal. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't see him in the dark, except for when he smiled. And he spread out watermelon seeds. <laughs> and then he walked into the tire store, and the guy says, we can't fix those. <laughs> <laughs> what, anything oh left in the news, Robin? Uh, this priest, who uh, they say might have made off with <laughs> 2 to $8 million from his... Was he uh, colored? Was <laughs> 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 he a weird chucker? <laughs> It's funny if he is. <laughs> Sorry, I can't the chuckle buddy you. is funny. All right, go ahead, Robin, please. please. He's not All right, so this priest checker. stole a lot of money from the church. They say he may have it. They may never be able to tell where the money went. Right. They are now looking for a second ex-con pal of the priest who uh, may I have gotten the some money from him. Yes. This retired pastor <laughs> befriended a violent ex-con, giving him a job at the parish and taking him to his weekend home. The Monsignor... I take the money from the living, and I use it to buy babies 
to eat. Oh. I drink the clothes. Monsignor Thomas uh, Gridalone. The priest on two, the priest on two Starbucks. <laughs> Gridalone, actually. actually Hired didn't. Frank Vivona, right. who had served five years in a state prison for assault and grand larceny, and counseled him at his weekend home in Mastic Beach, Long Island. Now, the neighbors thought this guy was a little weird. But the priest said, no, 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 no. He has a few problems, and I'm trying to help him. They said he was a, a frequent guest at the summer home. And they now would like to question him. He listed church as his place of residence. I need the baby. Oh, the church this year. Leave a good tip for the waitress. They think he may have gotten thousands of dollars from the priest, and they would like to uh, know about that. Right. The playoffs are occurring. Yesterday, the Yankees dropped the first game. Gilbert, will you watch that? Oh, yes. I follow sports. Uh, yes. <laughs> the Mets and the Yankees will be playing today. Here's Mike Piazza of the uh, New York Mets. They are going to play the Giants, and uh, I guess he's already in has a lot of respect for the team they'll be playing. They're a tough team. They're playing what they've had a great season. But, you know, we've played well against them before. So um, we can we can beat them when we play our good ball. Joe, but you don't play any sports? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> He's in better shape now than when he stopped. Actually, tomorrow, thank God uh, Gilbert's not tonight at Caroline's. Tomorrow, Caroline's on Broadway. Oh, we good, the game good. Otherwise. Yeah, we don't have to <laughs> choose between well, baseball I'll be taping or it. Gilbert. <laughs> It's going to be great. I'm Tonight going... on TV, you know, the new season is starting up. It'll be oh. the uh, first episode of the West Wing for this season. West Wing, Gilbert. Number... Oh. Are there any colors on that show? <laughs> yes, Gilbert, there are. <laughs> Number 18 yes. is the theme song <laughs> from the West Wing. <laughs> Allison Janney is one of the stars, and she won an Emmy for her portrayal of the uh, public relations director of the White House. Yes. Here she is to tell us <laughs> if she was able to sleep yes. the night she won the Emmy. No. I was so exhausted, I did. I was so sore, my voice, I could barely talk, and my shoes were killing my feet, so I was, I was so happy to get in bed. And uh, I slept till about 8, and then I woke up, and the phone just kept ringing, and... All right, it's obviously very exciting. Very exciting to win an Emmy. Yeah. The hit show. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Star Trek. What did she wear? Final Star Trek season. Oh, Star you Trek. watch Star Trek? It's wonderful. Voyager. You don't watch Brilliant it? show. You don't like the show? I've never watched. What do you watch? Do yeah. you like anything? Uh... Old movies. Yeah, that's pretty much No, oh, come it. on. You like some of the new shows. You don't watch Dawson's, Dawson's Creek? Creek. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, I'll, I'll watch sometimes. You will watch that. Yeah, I'll watch like five minutes of these shows for the girl and then turn away. I see. Because well, I saw Creek the premiere episode. episode. I saw the premiere episode of Dawson's Creek, and the crazy girl, the blonde, is in a bikini, and she looks very good. Oh, really? That's right. So I recommend yes. that part to you. <laughs> Katie Holmes is one of the stars of Dawson's Creek. Since you bring it up, there. I don't think I've ever watched Dawson's Creek. She's not that sexy, Katie. But uh, the blonde looks good. Airing uh, their first episode of the season tonight, and uh, how did Katie spend her summer? She should wear a thong. My summer was great. I uh, oh, baby voice. <laughs> I finished up a movie uh, when we wrapped called The Gift, which will be out, I think, in the fall. And uh, then I spent some time in New York and oh, yeah. hung out, Lucky saw my you. family, saw my friends. Lucky you, you're working. Gilbert's not. <laughs> great. Yeah, she can't get a moment to herself. She's so busy. Anyway, I was talking about yeah. Star Trek Voyager. Here's Robert Duncan McNeil, who <laughs> plays into Paris on the show. Yeah. He says it's hard to believe. Oh, it's, it's you over. again. <laughs> There's a lot of fans, especially like kids. I love to go to these Star Trek conventions. Yeah. Especially the young kids who have never really seen the original series. I like the little or boys. a lot of them. <laughs> Here's a clue. Wow. Here's a, p a fact that you know George W. Bush was head cheerleader at his high school. Wow, that's oh. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> he sounded like a cheerleader last night. <laughs> Go ahead, Robin. Uh, number 19 was the one I wanted. It's the last season of Star Trek. Mm -hmm. And uh, he can't believe it's almost over. Yeah. It's been a challenging seven years. It's flown uh. by. I can't believe how fast it's... Because uh, hey, you're going to go back to retirement. Yeah, <laughs> can you believe it's seven years? Just, last year we were, we were making this pilot. All right. Yasmeen Bleef has a new series for NBC. It airs tonight. You would have sex with her, right? Oh, yeah. 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 
Now, they show her in, in the a, commercial in a bikini, but I have a, a feeling she never wears a bikini on the show. You think well, it's just for the commercial? Yeah. Right. You'll have yeah. to tune yeah. in, Gilbert, yeah. to yeah. see if that's the case. Yeah, you're pretty smart for a guy yeah. who doesn't watch a lot of TV. Yeah. <laughs> Got a lot of things figured out. He only looks at the ads for yeah. the TV shows. Yes. He yes. says, uh, or yes, oh, he yes. says, the humor in the script oh, is what geez, attracted her to God's the type. <laughs> I don't think I would have been interested if it wasn't funny. I've always kind of wanted to do a sitcom, and it never definitely oh, worked out for me. Not that this is the same song as that, but there's definitely a lot of humor. I like hot guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Carrie yes, Russell. Yes, please, to block. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to work with all these people, Gilbert. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie Russell. Of Felicity fame. They're in oh. their first episode of the season tonight. She's cute. She's cute. They're saying oh, she's white. Do you realize? I like her. She's a white woman. Oh. Do you realize they only uh, ordered 13 episodes? They're going to wait yes. and see. This could be the final season of Felicity if it doesn't oh. do well in the ratings. Oh, no. Having a tough time. Oh, I'm going to hang myself. Oh, I'll Kimmy. never make another CD out of protest. That would be a good thing. Uh, Carrie uh, was blamed for the slide in the I reading. won't sell any more T-shirts. When she, cut her, when she cut her hair off. she cut her hair. The that's ratings right. went down. That's yeah. right. So in spite of all the hubbub, does she think it's... I she doesn't have prissy hair. A good idea. Regardless of the out come of how it actually looked. See, she's serious about life, Gilbert, unlike you. I thought it was... She's thinking about things. A great thing for her to do. A serious thinker. And, um... Shut up! <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Carrie didn't cut her hair. Felicity did. Right. Because she's saying, I think it was a great thing for her to do. Yeah. <laughs> my character. I didn't cut my hair. Joke man cut his hair. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. Victoria <laughs> Principal is returning to uh, network television. She's also in Titans. Here she talks about the uh, the hip factor of the show. Number 20. Old and dry. <laughs> she ain't tight no more. I didn't accept the role in Titans to be part she saw in face cream? Still is. Yeah. Of something that's been done before. And they're done that. I really work. feel this is a new show with a new look and a very hip yeah. um, weight that we're shooting it and hip music. Tighten it up, buddy. <laughs> All right. Anything else, Rob? We got hip music. That's why she's <laughs> freaking hip. And uh, Michael Caine is in the new Sylvester Stallone film, right. Get Carter. Victoria Principal, who uses a cane? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, the actors, blah, 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 blah. I told you. Well, the other I was, day. I was, 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 I I told you the other day they are not airing this for yes. critics before it actually hits the theaters. That's a good idea. Yes, oh, uh, it's such a good movie. I took this part because uh, we was filming in a warm climate. <laughs> but since Michael Caine has done this movie before, he knows what it's all about. Let us find out. Oh, no. I think it's about morality. <laughs> I think it's about morality. <laughs> it's when it comes down to family. Morality comes in no matter how immoral you are in other things or in other ways like a gangster would be. The gangsters have a code just the same as we do. Oh, and that's I what it's about. I absolutely like. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's uh, what's that's happening. What's happening. Uh, Gilbert Gottfried. Uh, w, George W. on the Late Show with David Letterman tonight. Tonight. Gilbert Gottfried performing tomorrow night at Caroline's on Broadway for reservation call 212-757-4100. Very, very funny. He might even do his Johnny Carson. Uh, uh, uh. Or go to Caroline. I was wrong. It's October 19th, so don't tune into Letterman oh. tonight if you're looking for George. Yeah, no reason to tune in. <laughs> Caroline's.com. Uh, congratulations, Gilbert, on getting oh, yes. job. <laughs> I mean, other than Hollywood Squares <laughs> and Pirate Boys. Uh, Jackie, way too many Heineken Martling, uh, uh, your favorite comic. They ah! call him the Comics Comic. <laughs> His filthy new CD, F Jackie, available at all retail outlets. Coast to coast on Olio Records. <laughs> this Saturday, October 7th at the Chicago Theater in Chicago, Jackie Martling. How come Jackie's got so many dates and Gilbert has not? Black people Jackie. are not allowed in the theater! <laughs> Clearly, Jackie is uh, the funnier of the two comedians. <laughs> <laughs> For MP3 audio and filthy 3D joke, man. Oh, you said that.
<laughs> Visit Chokeland.com. Mm. Uh, two very funny guys. Go yeah, to the but doesn't have an album. <laughs> you need a, why don't you make an album in your basement? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Magic Johnson and Magic Godfrey. <laughs> Magic Johnson's first annual three-on-three Wall Street Classic taking place October 28th. Basketball City, New York City. If you need some information, 1-800-98-PRINCE. For charity. You do charity work, Gilbert? Oh, I do a lot of charity work. All right. Yeah. He was talking to Gilbert. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> in that case, the answer is no. No. All right. Uh, thank you to Alexis from American Strippers, who uh, came in earlier from dialadancer.com, or call 212-727-0705. Gilbert's writing down that note. <laughs> Not now, Gilbert. How come you don't got any strippers going up here? None of them wanted to come in, <laughs> can I tell you. Um, thank you, Magic Johnson. Thank you, Gilbert Gottfried. Thank you, Magic Gottfried. <laughs> oh, and, uh, and, uh, thank you, Miss Allen. We'll cast the characters with Gilbert. <laughs> and we'll see you uh, tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, thank you, Miss Allen. We'll cast the characters with Gilbert. <laughs> and we'll see you uh, tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, thank you, Miss Allen. We'll cast the characters with Gilbert. <laughs> and we'll see you uh, tomorrow. <laughs> And uh, thank you, Miss Allen. We'll cast the characters with Gilbert. And we'll see you uh, tomorrow. And uh, thank you, Miss Allen. We'll cast the characters with Gilbert. And we'll see you uh, tomorrow.